What's up, family? It's me, your boy, your urban sports guru. I want to hit y'all with my NFL picks for week three. Uh, my NFL picks for week three. We're going to start off with Saints at Falcons. I'm going to go with the Saints on this one. And I'm going with the Saints on this one for this very reason. Sarkeesian and Matt Ryan need to show me multiple times that they can score in the red zone. They did it last week very fine, and I expected them to. They need to show me multiple weeks that this has become a trend. You know, the Saints defensively, they looked better last week. And um, when these two teams are playing, home field advantage doesn't really matter because both of these teams are playing in a dome. So I'm going to take the, uh, the Saints in that one. In the game everyone's watching between Jimmy Garoppolo and Patrick Mahomes. Two stud young quarterbacks that a lot of coordinators wish they had. I'm going to go with Patrick Mahomes for one very simple reason. Look who the fuck he's throwing it to. And look who Jimmy Garoppolo's throwing it to. You want to put Sherman on Tyreek Hill? Go on ahead. Be my fucking guest. Give him help over the top. What about Travis Kelsey? What about Kareem Hunt? What about fucking Sammy Watkins on the other side? I'm taking Kansas City. Next game, I got the Raiders versus the Dolphins. The Raiders versus the Dolphins. And yeah, as you can see, I'm pissing off my boy Jay here. I'm pissing him off the, uh, the Raider fan. But I'm going to go with the Dolphins. I can't. It's not often I go with the Dolphins, but I don't trust them. But I'm really liking the speed that I see on offense. The edge rushers I see on defense. They're playing at home. And um, they seem to be more built well on both. Like I always say, it built well on both sides of the ball. So I'm going to take the Dolphins on that one. Next game we have Bills versus Vikings. I'm taking the Vikings. There's nothing. I, I don't even need to explain myself on that. Furthermore, we got Packers versus Redskins. Um, and it's in Washington. I'm inclined to go with Green Bay. Yes. Redskins can possibly, with Adrian Peterson, run the football, keep Aaron Rodgers off the field. But I don't like the Redskins defensively to get at Aaron Rodgers. I don't like that. I don't like them very much. I think Packers are able to score the football enough that the Redskins aren't going to be able to keep up. Next one of the great games I see this week, the Bengals versus the Panthers. And... I'm going to take the Bengals. I'm going to take the Bengals for this one very simple reason. The Bengals had 10 day days of preparation for this. Yes, you're going into Carolina and playing against a great defense to play against Cam Newton, but they've had 10 days to prepare for this. I'm not the biggest fan of Marvin Lewis, but damn, you had 10 days to prepare for this. I said 10 days. I don't like Thursday night football, but the beauty of Thursday night football is after they play that game, you're essentially giving these players an extra bye week. And it's going to pay up for the Bengals. They're going to win a very close game. And um, the Bengals are going to win. Carolina offensively has not shown me much. They've not shown me much. Next game, you got Titans versus the Jags. If Lake Bortles can continue to play like he played last week, the Jacksonville Jaguars are a Super Bowl, definitely Super Bowl contender. Maybe you could say favorite in the AFC. He can continue to play like that, like that. I'm taking Jacksonville. Broncos versus the Ravens. And I'm going to take the Ravens because just like the Bengals, they've had 10 days to prepare. And they're not going to look as god-awful bad as they did last week. That defense is going to look better. Don't smile at me, baby. I'm going to put you on. Yes, yeah, don't, don't, I'll put you on. But anyway, um, next game, a great game. Great game. Chargers versus the Rams. Oh, my fucking God. Best game. Yes, Chargers versus the Rams. I expect a lot of points. A lot of points. Great quarterback play. Uh, is, is Bosa going to play in this game? Too bad Bosa's not playing. Because I wish Bosa was playing on the other side so he can match what the Rams defenders are going to be trying to do when it comes to getting after the quarterback. Don't make that game. But the Rams look good. I was The problem with the Rams for me, for me, 
I was expecting to see a dip in Jared Goff. I was expecting to see a dip, but I've not seen that dip. I guess the only way you're going to see something is if T's completely take away Todd Gurley. If you completely take away Todd Gurley, then, then let me see what Jared Goff has. But the thing is, he has so many fucking weapons, so even if you do take away Todd Gurley, okay, you have this guy over here, you have this guy. Like, he has so many outlets, and more importantly, he has a great offensive mind and head coach in Sean McVay. It's where it's like, okay, you take away Cooks, we'll go to Woods. We'll, we'll go here. And like, then there's that defense. And that defense is meant to play with a lead. You have a Dominican Sue playing nose tackle. And Dominican Sue is not a nose tackle. He's a three technique guy. So when you have him at nose tackle, I understand a lot of teams are not always in their base defense. But when you have that nose tackle, you might be susceptible to a team that's going to run the football straight at you. So, I'm, and Chargers can run the football. Chargers can't run the football. They got their, they got their swagger back, beating the shit out of Buffalo last week. <laughs> and you go from worst to first. You're playing probably the worst team in the league one week. Then you play the best team in the league the following week. Shit, have your big point pants, have your big boy pants on, pull them all the way up, and you play the Rams. Like, seriously. Get ready to punch in the face. Get ready to get punched in the face because they just got talent all over the place. I need to see them get beat before I pick against them. And they home, I'm taking the Rams. Bears versus the Cardinals. Just off the simple fact the Cardinals have so many issues with the offensive line. Bears have Khalil one Mack. of the best pass rushes in the league. Khalil Mack. With Khalil Mack, Khalil Mack, who the Raiders stupidly traded. Khalil Mack. What do you want to build? Players. When you build a great defense, you want to have a franchise player. Motherfucker, you had a franchise player. And you traded him. And you traded him. Khalil, Khalil Mack will be defensive player of the year this year. And Period. I'm not going out on a limb saying that. Period. God damn it, I think everybody in this damn room agrees Period. with me. Exclamation mark. I, I take the Bears in that. Cowboys at Seahawks. Stupidest trade ever. Khalil Mack. I'm going to go with the Seahawks for this one very reason. I'm going to go with the Seahawks. Russell Wilson is a great quarterback, and I think he's going to show Dak how it's done. He's going to show him how it's done. The only point is their offensive line is terrible, and Dallas's defense, especially up front, they can get after the quarterback. Baldwin back? Who? Baldwin. Doug Baldwin. Is he back? Mm. That's a good question. I think he is. He better be. I think he, he is. Needs. Just saying. I think I, I'm going with Seattle on that. Patriots versus Lions. Really? I'm going with the fucking Patriots. <laughs> I don't even need to talk to y'all about that one, family. Y'all already know what it is. Steelers at the Bucks. Ooh. Steelers Fitz at magic. the Bucks Monday night. It's magic. I expect Vince Magic to it's do magic. his thing. <laughs> but this so is fire. where I'm going to put some faith in Mike Tomlin. I'm going to shut up. I'm going to put some faith in Mike Tomlin. <laughs> they're going to win a shootout. I think they gave up on him. They're going to win it. They're going to win a shootout Monday night. I think they gave up on Mike Tomlin. That's your boy. I think the players gave up Week on Mike Tomlin. They didn't give up on him. He's lost the locker room, but they're going to still score points. They're still going to score they're points. They're going to score points. Urban Sports Is it going to be enough? That's your, <laughs> it's magic. That's your week three. It's your boy, Urban Sports Guru. I'm here with my boy, Jay. We're in the building. Urban Sports Guru, week three picks. All right, your boy. Salute.